Hey Kellen, happy birthday. I can't believe you're 10. I'm so proud of you for getting so mature and being such a great older sister. I love you so much. Bye. Happy birthday, Kellen. <laughs> you say I miss you? I miss you. Do you want to tell her anything else? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. We love you, Kellen. Kellen, I just can't believe that it's already in the double digits, 10 years old. Wow. Well, I know that God has a good plan for you. And just remember that we're praying for you every single day and that just seek God in all that you do. Love you. Love you, Kellen. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Colin. I love you so much. This is what I love about you, how you're, a, how you're so um, helpful. And when we need help, you're always with us. I love you. So when I think of Kellen, I think of someone who is a nurturer. I have gotten to watch her um, as all her little sisters came into her life. And she has always had such a tender way of helping to um, care for them. And just all babies. She has done that for my boys um, as being the oldest of all the cousins. Um, she would always love to hold babies and help to care for them. And I just think that's such a beautiful quality that's going to continue to grow in her own life. Um, and it translates to all other people in her life, the way she cares for and loves for other people. So, um, I just want to encourage you, Kellen, to continue to, um, cultivate that sweet spirit that the Lord has given you and, um, just let it overflow on all the other people in your life. When I think of Kellen, I think she's kind, um, sweet, loves to build forth with me and a great cousin. One of my favorite memories is um, me and you building forts together. Like I love that you designed it and I built it. And so um, you put the berries and flowers in the tree and I um, said that was good. And that you said that um, we should build a walkway out. So I built that and I thought that was a great idea. Um, happy 10th birthday, Kellen. When I think of Kellen, I think of someone who is sweet. Um, it's your Uncle Josh, an anonymous Spider-Man right here. Um, might be Graham. But we just wanted to say happy birthday, happy 10th birthday, turn the d double digits. Um, one of my favorite things about Kellen is just the way that she is so sweet and such a leader why she does it so she's a sweet and kind and just beautiful leader for her girls and then anytime our boys are all together with her she just takes such charge and and that's such awesome qualities to have and again to do it in a sweet way is even better um i love your little voice always have you've always had this way that you say words that just make me smile so big um and then finally, I would say some words of encouragement that people always gave me um, were uh, to do things well, um, but to remember that we were doing things well for somebody big and somebody bigger than us. And so um, I would say as you get older, you're going to want to work for God, um, but just know that you can work from the love that he has given to us. And I think you're just going to be such a doer, such a leader, such a person doing big things for Jesus. And that makes us as a family just so excited that um, you're a part of us. You're a good man. And that is something big and special. We love you. Happy 10th birthday. Happy 10th birthday. <laughs> Happy 10th birthday, Kellen. I am super excited for you to be 10 today. Um, I know I joked that you weren't able to turn 10, but I know it's a huge milestone and I'm very happy that I get to be a part of that for you and I get to watch you grow. Um, I can't even tell you how amazing the last year and a half has been watching you grow and who you are, who God's created you to be, and just the lives that you've touched. I cannot wait 
to see the lives that you are going to continue touching throughout your life. You are an amazing young lady, and I am so blessed that we have you in our lives and we can watch this and watch you grow and learn from you. Kellen, I just pray that this year is the best year yet for you. You've got so many people who love you, so many people who know that God has amazing, amazing plans in store for you, and we can't wait to watch those unfold. We can't wait to watch the thousands of lives that you are going to change. You're already changing so many lives every day. Kellen, I just pray that you never lose sight of who you are. You are absolutely amazing, beautiful inside and out, and a complete gift to anyone who gets the opportunity to meet you. Happy birthday, sweet girl. We love you. Hey, Colin, I'm in the school bathroom right now, but wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You're a great big sister, and you're so kind to everybody around you. Um, you're amazing. You act like a mom to like the Salises and all of them, it's amazing. You've grown up so fast. You're, you're 10, you're 10, that's crazy. Um, but I wish you a happy birthday, I love you very much. And I can't wait to hang out with you again. Oh my gosh, Kellen, 10 years old, double digits. That is huge, happy birthday. Um, I just want to take a second just to tell you how beautiful and special you are to me. Um, and I just want you to know that you mean the world to me. And I mean that. Um, from the very beginning, you have been so kind and loving and just welcomed me into your family, into the church. And every time I see you, you have this great big smile on your face. You're always giving me the best hugs. You quite literally have been like a sister to Elena. Um, and I can't wait to see you grow into um, the beautiful woman. I know you will. And um, I really hope your day is as special as you are. Can you say happy birthday, Kevin? Happy birthday, Kellen! <laughs> Good morning, Kellen! Happy birthday! I can't believe you're 10! You're in double digits! I love you so much. I'm so, so, so proud of who you're becoming. And I want you to know that your birthday gift is on the way. It might be a little late, but your mom knows that it's coming. And I can't wait to see you open it! I hope your day is amazing, Kel Bell. I love you! Happy birthday! Hi, Kellen. Happy birthday. Um, it is absolutely crazy to me that it has been 10 years since my dad drove me from my high school soccer game all the way to Richmond to see you and then all the way back home so I could go to school next day um, just so I could spend a couple minutes with you on the day that you were born. Um, it's crazy that it's been that, this much time since that, that happened, but I just wanted to let you know greater joy to watch you grow up and to see the person that you um that god has created you to be and i just think the world of you um some of my favorite memories of you are when you were young just sing songs and tell stories and it was seriously the cutest thing ever i think everyone you guys so um if I were to give you any piece of advice, it would be to surrender, abide, and to rest. Um, I think those three words are pretty powerful in that um, when you surrender every part of yourself, every part of your life to Christ and deny self and abide in him and abide in his word, um, and then you're able to rest knowing that you are walking with the creator and the savior and um, I think those, those three ideas will flip out of your life and just radically change everything. So I would, um, just, that would be my one encouragement is to stay walking with God and to know that you are so loved and that God has put so many people in and love you and want to be there for you every step of the years to come. And, oh my gosh, look at this crazy.
I love you, Kella. I hope you have a good 10th birthday. And I hope you have fun at Apex. Happy birthday, dear Kellen. Happy birthday Pets, what to you? you. And many, many more. Right, Cha-cha-cha! I'm super happy you're my friend. I'm triple happy that you're my friend. I'm super happy for you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kellen. We love you. We're so thankful that you're in our lives. Kellen, I can't believe you're 10 years old. Happy birthday. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you get to spend lots of time with your family and your friends and you get to do all the fun things that you like to do. Um, I just got done talking to your dad he's so proud of you he's he's uh he's excited to you know do some fun things with you on the weekend and um i'm proud of you and all all that you've accomplished and being such a big uh help with the family and being a good role model for your sisters and i miss you guys so much um i love you and happy birthday happy 10th birthday kellen you're finally double digits that's freaking crazy I wanted to share with you one of my favorite memories with you and kind of tied to like advice that I wanted to give to you. So one of my favorite memories with you is definitely sitting on the couch all cuddled up and coloring on my phone. It was so much fun. And, you know, when we colored my phone, we decided to pick, you know, each little part of the picture and color it a certain way and in a certain order so that, I mean, the bigger picture would be more perfect, you know? So, I'm going to tie that to, like, you growing up. As you grow up and you go to, like, middle school, high school, you're going to see a whole bunch of new people. There's going to be popular people. There's going to be people that wear this, and this is cool, and this is cool, and this is all this stuff and you're gonna be influenced by people like your friends and you're gonna you're gonna take on some things and you're gonna think that you know oh like everybody thinks this is cool everybody thinks this is cool so i want to do this so that i can look better i can be more perfect i want to be pretty like this person and my advice is you don't do that because <laughs> you are perfect just the way you are you do not need to change for anybody and when you do that, it, it like, it almost self-destructs you. It, you're trying to be somebody that you're not. And, I mean, there's people that you're going to want to be. There's people that you're going to think are so beautiful and you're going to want this and this and this. But, I mean, the truth is, like, if you had everything that you wanted so that you could be this perfect person... At the end, you would probably look in the mirror and be unsatisfied. Because, I mean, we're humans. And that's that's how we, we see ourselves. And so, I want you to always remember that you are beautiful just the way that you are. And there's only one of you in the world. Okay? So, you have to be your own person. Don't want to change being with anybody else. Because everybody else is already taken. Okay. I love you so much.